as a man would put woman in three categories. Are you wife material? Are you just girlfriend material? Or are you just a sperm receptacle? Boys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video. I said all the time that women that take about 20 to 30 years old to wake up and realize that the feminist is a freaking lie. The feminists are here for one reason. Destroy and broke family. That's a result of feminists. That's what they do. And the woman wake up 20 to 30 years later and they realize that feminists are freaking lie. And they realize they are unhappy. <laughs> and what makes a woman happy is to take care of their family, their kids and their husband. <laughs> and we're going to see a little short here. And that one, she is the exception to the rules. You always have a little needle in the haystack. They're there. They're all there. They're super, super rare. But they're all there. And I don't know what wake her up early than the other woman. I don't know if she listened to red pill content. I say that all the time. Woman should listen to red pill content. That way they're going to wake up way, way, way earlier. They might wake up at, I don't know, 25 years old. They might wake up at 30 years old. That to realize that the feminist is a freaking lie. <laughs> Me, I'm Christian. I believe the feminist, this is the work of the devil. Broken family. This is the work of the freaking devil. And women are so easy to manipulate. The devil know that. And the devil do his work. That's what I believe. And that's the reason why the, the, the devil choose the woman. Because women are dumb. Most of them are freaking dumb. The little puppet, they're easy to manipulate. That's what the devil choose them. If I was a demon, that's what I would do. Way more easy to manipulate a woman, use her as a little puppet to play with her brain. That's what I would do. So anyway, <laughs> I regress here. Let's go back to the I don't know, not the spiritual world, let's put it that way. So, we're going to listen to this, boys. We're going to listen to this. So, and all the women, again, my video right now should be, a woman should listen to that. Because my video right now, I want the guys to realize that the feminist is a lie. And my video right now should be for a woman. Women should listen to repeat content to wake up. So let's send that one here. I was raised by a single mother. I went to college. I got my degree in statistics, which is a male-dominated field. I got my job at Visa, and at the age of 24, I bought my home in the Bay Area, which is an expensive market mm -hmm. to purchase a home. It just proves to you that I worked my butt off to get what I had. After I bought my home, I proceeded to remodel the home with my own two hands using YouTube tutorials. So, like, literally, I did not need a man. I did the manly work. I scraped. So, listen to that, boys. What she said right now. She accomplished everything that the feminist said that you have to do. You don't need a man. Go to college, get a degree. After that, make a shitload of money. And after that, do the manly work. She remodeled her house by herself. She did all what the feminists told them to do. She did it. Congratulations. And by the way, if you go on a date and a woman told you that as a man, we don't give a damn right ass about that. You accomplishment, we don't care. We don't care. 
as a man, what we want, we want a woman who is wife material. Wife material. And what is a woman who is wife material? It's a woman who's going to put her family first. If you're wife material, you're going to put your family first. That's what you're going to do if you're wife material. And I say that all the time. As a man, we put woman in three categories. Are you wife material? Are you just girlfriend material? Or are you just a sperm receptacle? I made a shitload of video about that will explain that, the difference between the three categories. But if your wife material, what's going to be your first priority? Your family. And as a man, that's what we want. You accomplish men, we don't give a damn rat ass about that. We don't care. All right, that's good. She accomplished all that stuff. Congratulations, you are a strong and independent woman. As a man, I'm talking about that, and I don't give a damn rat ass about your accomplishment. What do I care about that? As a woman, you're going to care about the accomplishment of a man. As a woman, that's all you think, and that's fine. You are a woman. Female nature, women care about the accomplishment of a man. And male nature, we don't give a damn rat ass about your accomplishment. We don't care. See, the difference. The difference. So let's keep going here. to popcorn ceiling. I put in a full laminate floor. I learned how to use a table saw and not cut off all 10 fingers, <laughs> right? So like, I proved it. I did the thing. I proved that I can live this life without a man. And I'm telling you, it is not fulfilling. Because at the end of the day, I was sitting in an... Boom! She just dropped the bomb. She just dropped the freaking bomb. Look. Let's go back there. Look. Nice piece of ass. I don't know how old she is. But she's not 45, 55 years old that she realized at 45, 55 years old that the feminist is a lie. Look, nice piece of ass. She's still young. I don't know what happened in her head that all of a sudden she realized that the feminist is a lie. She said it's not fulfilling. What make a woman happy is a family, husband and kid. Husband and kid, that's what, what woman happy. She didn't explain how come she wake up so early. Maybe she's close to 30 something, that one. But she realized it. The needle on an A stack. She realized it, I don't know. Maybe she's 10 years too late, but she realized it. And I say that all the time. Most women don't listen to men's advice, which she should. Women should listen to men's advice. Man, all of a sudden, because she's a woman, all the other women are going to realize that the feminist is a lie. Because that came from a woman. Women listen to other women. For whatever the reason, don't listen to men. No, 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 no. don't listen to men's advice. No, no, don't do that. But because she's a woman, all the other women are going to listen to her. But my point, her, in her case, she's a needle in a, in a haystack. She's maybe 10, uh, I don't know, 10 years too late. She, uh, she looked like she's in the early 30. But she realized that whole thing was a freaking lie. And that's good. That's good. There's still hope on that one. That's good. So let's keep going here. Empty home, absolutely miserable that I was alone. So I need a man to fulfill my greatest potential in life, which is to become a mother. Yeah, there is nothing yes. that's better yeah. than becoming a mother and having that legacy. And when you find the right... And another thing, another thing about the freaking feminist. At least she realized that her potential is to become a mother. I mean, what the feminist said. Another thing the freaking feminist said. Broke your family. You are strong and independent. If you sign a freaking contract to get married, this is for life. End of story. 
That one should probably tell you something. Now the clock is ticking. Female nature. Tick, 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 tick. The clock is ticking. She know it. Now all of nowhere, she want to be a mother. But another thing about the freaking feminist lie that they said broke your family. Now, if you were a man, you stick with that man for the rest of your life. And you need to pick the right one. Now that one, the clock is ticking. That's what's going on right now. Female nature. To do something, the clock is ticking. But if you choose to have a kid, you stick with your freaking family. All those freaking women out there who have a, a degree, all that shit, 90%, that thing go from 70 to 90%, those women with degrees, all that stuff, they are the one who broke the family. Women with degrees and PhD, all that crap, female nature again, I'm not gonna yap too long, I'm already at 10 minutes of that video. They are the one that, that thing go from 70 to 90%. 90% of women with degrees broke the family. That thing needs to stop. If you have a kid with a man, you stick with your man. The feminist lie again to broke your family. The woman out there, the woman who has demon inside of them, I'm going to broke my family, it's fine. The feminists tell me to do that. That thing needs to stop. Family are important. A man to raise a kid, it's important. So in a way, she freaking wake up that one. And she said, with the right man, look, I look like I stopped it at the right place. Look, right man. Choose a right man. The feminist lie. Let's keep going here man who wants to have that legacy as well you will want to submit to him i was raised by there you go she said all the word that the woman is so scared of, submit to your man choose the right one and submit to your man and you stay with him for the rest of your life the feminists need to stop broken family That's what they do. That's what the feminists said. This is freaking terrible. So I'm going to listen again, again. The whole thing. And this time, as always, boys, I'm going to shut the hell up. So let's go. I was raised by a single mother. I went to college. I got my degree in statistics, which is a male-dominated field. I got my job at Visa, and at the age of 24, I bought my home in the Bay Area, which is an expensive market mm -hmm. to purchase a home. It just proves to you that I worked my butt off to get what I yeah, had. After I bought my home, I proceeded to remodel the home with my own two hands using YouTube tutorials. So, like, literally, I did not need a man. I did the manly work. I scraped a popcorn ceiling. I put in a full laminate floor. I learned how to use a table saw and not cut off all 10 fingers right <laughs> so like I proved it I did the thing I proved that I can live this life without a man and I'm telling you it is not fulfilling because mm -hmm. at the end of the day I was sitting in an empty home absolutely miserable that I was alone so I need a man to fulfill my greatest potential in life which is to become a mother yeah, there is nothing that's better yeah. than becoming a mother and having that legacy and when you find the right man who wants to have that legacy as well you will want to submit to him I was raised by a single mother well, I went to boys. college, I got my degree. But it says, that thing is beautiful. I don't know what, I would love to ask her what make her, she wake up. Out of nowhere, she freaking wake up. And you know what? Good for her. Good for her. Now the reason that she wake up, she want to have a baby at 30 something years old. The clock is ticking. Hmm? The clock is ticking. Female nature. That's what all the nowhere she wanna be she wanna man. But now your challenge for her, find the right man. And don't broke your freaking family. Stop doing that, woman. Broken your family. For all your stupid reasons you came in. You came into. Alright guys. Uh I'm going to stop yapping. You like my content? Like, share, subscribe, boys. And as always, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.